Hey, welcome back. For today's video, I wanted to talk about the items and products that have helped me tremendously on my breastfeeding journey. For those of you who don't know, I am a first time mom and I am learning so much and so many things have been helping me along the way and I wanted to share those things with you all. So let's go on ahead and get right into it. I want to mention the most important thing to me. This is the thing that I use every single day, several times a day, and it's an app. It's called the Baby Feed Timer app. So this app tracks nursing, wet diapers, dirty diapers, when you pump, when you give a bottle, sleep. It's amazing. Like literally I use it all the time. Like if I don't have my app, like I will stop what I'm doing. Let me get my phone. I need to track it on my app. So what it does is with the nursing, it'll say you're on your left side now or you're on your right side. It'll use press the start button and it times how long you're nursing for. You can pause it when your baby takes breaks and then you stop it and then you can set it to tell you, okay, let me know when the next time it is when I need to nurse the next time. Like if you want to do three hours or four hours or however long your interim is, you can set that. It'll alert you and say, okay, it's time to feed on this side in 10 minutes I love it and then at the end of the day it'll analyze everything for you like you can check your logs so it'll say on average your baby nurses for 22 minutes and on the left side they nurse for this long versus on the right side it's amazing y'all. I'm telling you it takes the guesswork out of everything because it's so hard for me to remember what time she last ate and for me I'm definitely trying to get my baby like somewhat on a good schedule so where she's not just eating just to eat I mean of course there's times when they cluster feed but once she's not doing that I set mine for every three hours because you know she's still nursing every three hours and it'll let me know okay the next time she eats is at this time and I can remember that and I don't have to think about it you know um, I also love the fact that with sleep like when I put her down at night and for her naps I can time to see how long she sleeps and I pretty much gathered what her normal or natural sleep cycle is so I'm not trying to force a pattern on her I'm telling y'all y'all have to try this app out unfortunately it's not free um, it's $4.99 however there is a seven day trial I fell in love with this app on day one. Like I was like, I'm definitely gonna buy it, but of course I use all seven days first, then I pay for it. But try this app out, y'all, I'm telling you. It's it's like, I can't speak highly enough for it and no, I'm not sponsored, they're not paying me anything. Like, it's just that helpful. So check out this app, y'all. It's, it's, it's life changing, seriously. Next up, I wanna talk about my nursing pillow. I am a fan of the My Breast Friend nursing pillow. It's like a thick foam pillow with a cover over it and I love it because it allows my hands to be free so we normally nurse in the football position where she's like her head is here and then her body is to the back it allows me to have my hands free or I can pump on the opposite side or just tend to other things while she's nursing so I would highly recommend using a nursing pillow and I love the my breast friend one it has like a pocket on the side it comes all the way around the back so it allows you to have like a nice amount of support and it's nice and sturdy so I have no complaints there when it comes to pumps, I did receive the Spectra S2 from my insurance company. I have used it a couple of times, but I am more so a fan of my Medela manual pump. I feel like the manual pump pulls down more milk and it's less bulky. It's easier to transport. It's just easier to use and it has less parts. Sometimes, especially in the middle of the night, now that she's sleeping much longer, I'll have to pump. So if I'm nursing on one side, I'll pump on the other. And that Medela pump, it just works wonders. I love it so much. It's just small, it's simple, it pulls down milk, and then it's also easy to travel with. So if I'm away from her for a long time, it's something I can simply throw in my bag and just keep with me. And then I'll just have like my little nursing cooler, which I'll talk about next. But um, yeah, if you're having any issues with your electric pump, if you feel like it's not emptying well, or if it's too bulky and you only need something just like sometimes or um, just something quick, I would definitely recommend checking out the Medela manual pump. Also for pumping is my Haka. I didn't know anything about the Haka until a few weeks after I had given birth. Um, this is like a passive collector of milk. So if you're a breastfeeding mom or if you've been doing your research, you may have heard of this. Absolutely necessary. They are so great. They capture all your milk on the opposite side. So if you're nursing on the left, you know how you have a letdown on both sides? Well, if you don't know, your milk lets down from inside. Like you can actually feel it. It kind of feels like a balloon inflating on the inside of you. That's what it feels like to me. Um, so you can feel your milk letting down. And if you have on like a, a pad, just collecting milk, your milk is gonna go to waste. So I'll nurse on one side and I'll put my haka on the opposite side. It's a suction, so it kind of pulls down your milk passively, like it's not like a, a pump, like your pump is. It just like sits there, it hangs, you don't have to hold it, um, and it just pulls your milk down. A lot of the times I might pull like an ounce or more, which is great because those ounces add up. So if you are 
having a lot of milk let down or if you feel like you're losing a lot of milk on your opposite side, get the Hakka. I would recommend the one with the suction cup on the bottom because that way once your milk is already in there, you can sit it on a counter or on a surface and it'll stand upright and not tip over. It costs a little bit more than the original one, but it's worth it because you never realize the value of breast milk until you spill it. That's a sad day, okay? It's a very sad day. When I'm traveling on the go and I want to keep my milk cold, I use an insulated lunchbox I found on Amazon. Super cheap, maybe 10 or 12 bucks. And I also purchased a like freezer um, pack, like a frozen pack. So this one is specifically made for bottles because it's like curved so that you can slide the bottle right next to it and it keeps it nice and cold. So if you plan to pump while you're away, like if you're going back to work or if you're going to be on the road or just away from your baby for a little bit of time where you're not able to nurse and you need to pump, Make sure that you get a lunchbox and a cooler so that you can keep your milk nice and cold. For storage in the freezer for my milk, I use the Lansino bags. I get them in 100 counts. Of course, you can find them on Amazon or in Target. And I love them because they're nice and thin because I like to freeze my milk flat. So if you um, are not doing this or if you want to save space in your freezer, freeze your milk flat. So put your milk in the bags empty out all the air, close them, you know, write your date and your ounces or whatever information you need to put on them and then lie them flat in the freezer. This way they'll freeze flat and then you can store them nice and tight and compactly. So the way that I do it in the freezer is the brick method. I take gallon Ziploc bags and I store my, my milk bags standing upright so I can maybe get about, hmm, maybe eight to 10 bags. And then I do them in um, descending date order. So, you know, I make sure that I'm pulling from the oldest first. This way I save so much space in my freezer. If you haven't done that already, you, you can still start, you know, and save a lot of space. Don't just put your bags in the freezer like bent up any kind of way because they're gonna freeze like that. And once you thaw the milk out, you have to use it I think within 24 hours before it goes bad, so yeah. Make sure you freeze your bags flat to save a lot of space in the freezer. Moving on to items for mom, I want to talk about nursing bras. So my favorite bras are the ones that I found on Amazon and Target. So. When I was pregnant, I got a nursing bra from like Nordstrom or something. I think I paid like $40 or $50 for it. Least favorite one. I got a three pack of bras for $20 off of Amazon. They will be linked below. I love them so much. They're nice and comfy. And then I went to Target and bought their sleep bras. I got the black one. They are super, super comfortable. I wear them out of the house even if I'm not with my baby, like if I'm not gonna be nursing her, they're just more comfortable. So make sure that you have some good sleep bras if you wanna wear bras at night or just throughout the day and just good nursing bras in general. So the ones from Amazon are great because they have the snap where you can pull them down and nurse. And then the sleep bras are the pull down kind. So. Either one, they're great. I'll link them below for you. Another bra I wanted to mention is the hands-free nursing bra. When I'm using my Spectra or an electric pump, I like to have this because I can just put the little flanges on under the bra and I have my hands free. It's so helpful because I don't have 20 minutes or more to just be sitting here holding I mean, I could be doing other things. So definitely invest in a hands-free bra. I found mine at Target. I wanna say it was about $25 or so. Um, a lot of the times they do have sales on their clothes, so definitely check out Target Cartwheel app to save you some coins. But yeah, get you a hands-free nursing bra. The one that I have, the straps can come off so it could be strapless. It would be great for when you're at work and you're needing to pump and also get work done on your computer. Great. Another thing that I love from Target are their nursing camis. They're like compression on the belly area and they're like really, really tight and snug. So it's kind of like, make sure you get the right size. Like make sure you try them on because they are very, very tight. Um, I got a medium size, which is my normal size. When you get engorged, they might be a little uncomfortable on the breast, so you just have to adjust the straps. But I love the camis a lot because when I'm trying to like get my stomach back down and make sure everything is nice and tight, they come in handy. And I wear them around the house a lot or you can wear them under your garments, you know, before it gets too hot. So check out the nursing camis at Target. I wanna talk about things to care for your nipples, okay? So my favorite nipple butter is by Earth Mama. Y'all, I use this stuff all day, every day, especially in the beginning when I was first learning how to breastfeed and my nipples were like on fire. They felt like razor blades. This was the only thing that soothed them and calmed them. It's so buttery and creamy and just like, when I put it on, it's like instant. I, it's like instant satisfaction. Like I even put it on my lips um, because it's like natural and you can kiss your baby's cheeks and not you know be worried about it. And the good thing about the Earth, Mom, the Earth Mama butter is you don't have to wash it off before you nurse because it is like a natural and organic product. Your baby can nurse while you still have it on. So 
get it. It's great. You need it. If you plan on breastfeeding, get you a nipple butter before your baby comes because you would hate to just be out here just sore nipples and not have anything. Get it now. You need it now. Okay. Another thing I want to mention for nipple care are nipple shields. So if you are having pain when you're nursing or if your baby is having issues with latching, nipple shields may be able to assist you. I ordered mine, um, I wanna say maybe like a week postpartum. We were breastfeeding fine, my baby didn't have latch issues. It was just like my nipples were on fire. They felt like razor blades, like I said. So um, sometimes I felt like, you know, when she was cluster feeding, like I just needed a little break from the pain. Nipple shields definitely came through. They were very, very helpful. I found mine on Amazon. They come in different sizes. I think we ordered both sizes because we didn't know which one we would need. <laughs> and I was like, I just want to make sure I got it, you know, in case I need it. And they were very helpful. I don't use them anymore, but um, if you need help before you just give up or before you feel like, you know, it's too painful, try to use a nipple shield and make sure that you're keeping your nipples nice and lubricated. Last but not least, I wanna talk about vitamin D drops. If your baby is breastfed, you probably are having to supplement with vitamin D drops. If your baby is formula fed, it's normally in the formula, but our pediatrician even provided us with a little sample of vitamin D drops. We ordered some more on Amazon, and normally we would just put them like a drop on her pacifier, or you can even put a drop on your nipple. There are several different brands, but just make sure that you're using your vitamin D drops. If your pediatrician has recommended it, I just wanted to Add that in there in case you forgot about it. So yeah, vitamin D drops for our breastfeeding mamas. So that's it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to talk about the products and items that have been assisting me with breastfeeding. If you have any questions or you know want to see any other types of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.